crazy to me that August is pretty much over now. And like, it, literally I say this every single time I do a Blu-ray haul update, but every month just flies by like that. And we're already heading into September, which is kind of heading in preparing us for the fall season, which is one of my favorite movie type seasons because you get Star Wars, you get a bunch of Oscar type movies, and it's just my favorite time for movies in general. Yeah, and a lot of you guys are probably like, what about the summer, Zach? I'm going to tell you, the summer's a little bit overrated now. I say that because almost every summer seems to disappoint me. Besides just a couple films here, it's usually the independent films that really stick out the most to me, and we get a ton of them. But... I'm not talking about all that. Today, we're going to be going over what I collected in the month of August. There's a bunch of nice things that I like to collect. I like to show you guys and share. And of course, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing that I got this month was. And of course, what else you guys picked up this month. Because we all pick up sorts of geeky and nerdy stuff. And it's always fun to be talking about that. You know, I pick up some movies, some Blu-rays. It's kind of the main focus of this kind of video. And I also pick up some pops and maybe some other memorabilia that maybe you guys will be appreciative about. I do have one really cool one to show by the end of this video. So do look out forward to that by the end and thank you guys again so much for watching this if you guys are new here hit that like and subscribe button because i do tons of content like this early movie reviews as always and it chapter 2 review is coming next week and also what's coming next week is on sunday i will be most likely doing an it live commentary where i watch along the original it the first one preparing myself for the second one and i want you guys to be on this journey with me so we'll be live streaming this i'll be reacting to it i'll be giving my thoughts on it and i'll be answering your guys's questions so do look out for it without further ado guys let's get straight into this haul right now and starting with we're gonna start with my Funko Pops like we always do and one of the first ones I picked up was Hup he is from Dark Crystal Age of the Resistance one of the new shows coming out this week which it's actually already out by the time this video comes out I really like Dark Crystal Age of the Resistance and you know growing up I did like the original Dark Crystal it just used to scare the living shit out of me so I used to not watch it a lot but Hup is one of the brand new characters that I absolutely fell in love with he's one of my favorite things about Age of the Resistance and it's his personality that really stole the whole show but also one of the other cool characters in it is the hunter now the hunter I picked up now the box might be messed up I'm gonna eventually take him out of the box but I love the design of the hunter and almost everything about him and just kind of what they did with the character he's really badass and the fact that like almost all this show is puppetry and less cgi and less practical effects in general it's very unique and i i'm just i'm excited to see what they do next with dark crystal because i really like the age of the resistance moving forward i also got a dr peter vankman funko pop from gamestop now the cool thing about this is it actually came with a shirt and it came in what they collect the ghost in now th this is just really cool i kind of bought it for the box to be honest because i just really like this and when the next ghostbuster comes out i want to be able to have this in my background but i do actually really like the pop i used to actually have a bunch of ghostbuster pops and i still have the stay puff marshmallow man but now this is gonna be my second one that i have and it also did come with a shirt but for some reason i, I can't find the goddamn shirt because i was supposed to wear it in this video but i chose my avengers endgame shirt that i've got back in like april and i've never worn it it's pretty cool though because look look at the back it's like mm. boom boom fire power if you guys know what that is from please comment down below because you're pretty fucking awesome if you do boom boom so moving on to what I picked up in the month of August is the Toucan San Diego Comic Con Pop. I really like these pops where it's kind of an icon from something, whether it's Target, a serial icon, I collect a lot of those, but this is the Toucan, this is a San Diego Comic Con, what their mascot is, and uh, I actually got to order this online, I got it from the Funko website when it went up, and I really like him, I think it's really cool, and I wanted some memorabilia from San Diego Comic Con, but like, I didn't know how fast that shit sells out, and that you should pre-order it before you get there, so I got the Toucan, I'm happy with it, I'm all for it the last Funko Pop I did pick up though was probably the one that I've been dying to get and that is the Splash Mountain 3 pack um whatever you want to say about Song of the South I love these three characters the thing about Splash Mountain is it's always been one of my favorite rides and I just had to pick up this three pack of all three of them if you can tell in the background I do actually have a Splash Mountain ride Funko Pop up there but this is a great addition to that and I actually hope that Song of the South is on Disney streaming I know some people will say well they probably won't do it because it's the racism and stuff and I, I do get that I get why Disney wouldn't do it but I also think there are other streaming services that just have a discretion right in the front so please do that the next thing I did also get was Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 for the switch I've been playing the hell out of this game actually a lot and I really like the first two I think the first two are a lot of fun but the thing about the third one is it's portable now so I can take this anywhere and I've been playing it on the go at home and I'm actually almost done with it but overall I actually really enjoy this you guys want me to do a review of it just let me know I probably will 
but overall it's the characters and playing as the different characters that are really in here and there's actually one character i just got to that i've never even heard of in my entire life and i really love her act and like how she plays and all that sort of stuff and i'm, I'm just surprised that like in this day and age like there's a marvel character that i don't know about i'm like i've literally never heard of you in my entire life now guys it's time for the blu-rays and that means we're going into over to my first one which is forrest gump on the 25th anniversary blu-ray now i was gonna get this on 4k but the thing is the 4k was like 25 more dollars it seemed like and I was like I could just get this I never had Forrest Gump on Blu-ray I've only had it on DVD I've been wanting to do the upgrade because for me my eyes are a little bit I, I can't watch a DVD anymore it has to be Blu-ray or 4k and it, it sucks really but Forrest Gump I've been looking forward to I've only seen this film surprisingly once and it's really been in increments like I might have there might be some scenes that I've actually missed to be completely honest but I'm looking forward to the watching this for the first time and well not the first time but like for the second time next one i'll have is my second favorite film of the year and that is long shot this is one of my favorite romantic comedies of all time i've endured i've loved this movie i cannot recommend this movie enough i might have gotten it last month but now i'm talking about it this month as well just to tell you guys that you guys definitely need to pick this up pick this shit up now this is seriously one of the best movies of the year and i'm just i'm so happy that i now can watch it repeatedly next one i picked up was the dark crystal on 4k now i picked this up obviously because age of resistance was coming out and i wanted to prep myself even though age of resistance does come out or take place before this one i still want to prep myself for dark crystal and kind of just intertwine myself into the world of course this came out in 1982 so i wanted to see how like the differences was and obviously there are major differences but the puppetry is kind of the one thing i was really looking at and wanted to make sure on that part next thing i picked up was detective pikachu steelbook now this steelbook i was actually kind of iffy on when i saw the photo of it but the second i walked in the best buy i saw it there i went oh my god that's ad adorable and it's amazing and I, I love the front of it but it's seriously the back of it that makes it worthwhile like look at that it's pikachu I actually really enjoyed this movie and the more I think about it the more I actually really really like it it's one of the best family films I would say in the last couple of years and I think the great thing about this detective Pikachu is it knows what it is while is it predictable very much so I do hope we get a sequel to this because I thought this was a very entertaining and the world and the cinematography and everything they did in this movie is just extravagant next one we have is Titans season one now I did have the DC Universe app but after they got rid of swamp thing i didn't care to have it anymore i did finish doom patrol i really like doom patrol but i did want to pick up titans because the second season is coming out and i wanted to watch this and then i don't know uh, use my friend's account to see the next streaming i i don't know i want to see the second season but i'm looking forward to this i heard some mixed reactions to this but season two looks really good and i'm not trying to skip a season to go so i'm gonna endure whatever i get out of this one and I'm, i am looking forward to it overall next one i do have though something that i was actually surprised to see it was the very last one they had at my best buy and that is the nightmare on elm street 7 film collection but it's the way freddie moves on this lithograph this slip cover that's really unique to me and the thing is is i've actually not seen all the nightmare on elm streets i've definitely seen the first one i've seen the third one but that's really it i haven't seen the other ones and i'm looking forward to this halloween season going through them and kind of re-engenerizing myself into the nightmare on elm street world because yeah your boy wants to next one i have is i was sent this from disney and that is avengers endgame blu-ray i really liked avengers endgame i love this slip cover in fact i didn't really like it i fucking loved it i still have some nitpicks with some plot holes that i obviously see and obviously in the middle of the film i, I do think it lacks a little bit of not depth but i think it hurts the pacing just a bit with the time travel just to be a little bit honest sorry just being honest but I think the first act and the third act make up for everything in this film. It makes it to be one of the best comic book films ever made. But also speaking of Avengers Endgame and not just because of my shirt, I also got the 4K Steelbook from Best Buy. Now, some people were bitching and saying like, how dare they not use the right character models like Iron Man, that's not in the right suit, or you want to look at this, this, and that, or this, this, and that. People were judging it too much. I don't care what suit they're using. I just think it's dope as shit. And I love the front and I love the back. And the inside of it is probably even beautiful too because behind these discs it's robert Downey jr and black widow herself so i love this movie i i've watched it three times since i bought it it's a blast to watch i might prefer infinity war still to be completely honest though because yeah infinity war i watched like five times the time i got it um end game's a long movie that, that that's for sure but i think you could have either added another 20 minutes to that time travel sequence or taken out a little bit to kind of help the pacing and yeah you might be wondering well what if you take 20 minutes out it would have made it longer it would have made it longer that's okay i just think there was more you could have done inside the time travel stuff but that, 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 that's just my thought 
The next one we have is stuff I actually just picked up today as before I filmed this, and that is Godzilla King of Monsters on 4K. So I actually did a very sweet thing. I walked in, I got there right away, because I didn't pre-order the steelbooks for this one, and I was like, it looks cool. If I'm there, it's meant to be. I got in, one steelbook left, picked it up, hell yeah. I looked at it, I'm like, this is pretty cool, but I kind of like the slipcover a little bit more. And I sat there contemplating, and then this this kid comes in and he goes, ah oh, man, I really want it. And I could tell he super wanted it. So I said, here you go, have it. He's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, 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 it's cool. I, I I don't need it. And you know what? I feel good about it because someone else who loves Godzilla more than me is going to get that cool steel book. And of course, I have the slip cover, so I can't complain. This is one of the most gorgeous films of the year. The cinematography is off the charts. Amazing for this movie. And Michael Daughtry did an excellent job directing this film. While it's super cheesy, and I understand that, people will be like, how do you forgive that film but not Transformers? I forgive this film because... I think it felt like it knew what it was more than Transformers, and I was more entertained with the action and everything. Now, some people crapped on this movie. I didn't. I can't wait to rewatch it. I might actually rewatch it today while I'm editing this video. Next one I have is another beautiful steelbook, and that is the Rocket Man steelbook. This is one of the best films of the year, and if the Oscars were tomorrow, I would say Taron Egerton deserves a nomination at the very least. If not, he should win it for playing Elton John. This guy deserves everything he's done. The back of the steelbook's really beautiful. And even inside of it, it's pretty cool, but really it's the outside. There's actually two steelbooks for this. There's one at Walmart and this, but I personally like the darker colors more. The Walmart one was a little bit more white and I don't know. I like my stuff a little bit darker, if you know what I mean. That sounded really bad and I didn't mean for it to come out that way. I just like like darker colors. This isn't going anywhere. Rocket okay, Man overall I did really enjoy I think it's one of the best films of this year and definitely if Bohemian Rhapsody can get a bunch of nominations Rocket Man better get them as well because whoo beautiful as hell. Next one I have is Apocalypse Now the final cut on 4k now this one's actually really cool so if you've never seen Apocalypse Now this is one of the most gorgeous films ever but when you open it up it's it's a huge disc set because there's so many damn editions of it but it's the the cover of it and how it looks is my favorite part about this whole set it was like only 18 bucks for Okay, this is a damn good deal and I'm gonna take it while I can get it and of course the last blu-ray I did pick up this month is the banana splits movie now I've been wanting to see this movie ever since I saw the trailer it's like five nights at Freddy's but with a Hanna Bambara uh, cartoon and I'm just like how'd they get the rights to it? I want to know how they made this movie like I want to know how they made the damn movie but I'm excited for it I know what it exactly what it is it's gonna be a super dumb horror film but I'm kind of for that. There's sometimes where I can enjoy these horror films and kind of have them as guilty pleasures. I mean, I almost I almost have all the paranormal activities, and that's just because I enjoy them on a guilty pleasure level. Same with Blair Witch, and same with a couple others. So, Banana Splits, please don't let me down. Before we get going, guys, I do have one other thing to show you guys, and that is my Wonder Woman sword. So, the thing that's cool about this is, if you can tell behind me, I do have that Deadpool shield. I used to have this manager who would make these weapons out of like really cool crafts, fins, ships, and like foam. The Deadpool one, and he actually also made Stormbreaker right here that I have. I really like my Stormbreaker, it's really unique. Anytime I go to an Avengers movie, I always take it with me. But he also made these Wonder Woman's ones, and I just want to give him a little bit of a shout out because I love the hell out of these and having them. Very easy to kind of just walk around and stab someone if you want to. But uh, it, it's really unique having this, and you can actually carry it like a shield and everything like that and the sword it's, it's nice too you know now i have a sword and a stormbreaker so i just want to show that out and give him a shout out because he does watch these and he's really cool so josh thank you so much for watching this uh thank you guys in general for watching this and of course if you guys are new here make sure to hit that like and subscribe button please comment down below and let me know what your guys thoughts are on this month what do you what was your favorite thing that i picked up what was your favorite thing that you picked up let's discuss it down below and of course guys until next month we have a bunch of stuff coming up in the month of september so you guys definitely don't want to look out for that you guys know how much i love you guys i would do need to give a shout out to all my patreon supporters because without them i wouldn't be able to do this if you guys are considering to be a patreon supporter go check it out down below because right down there i don't just give you guys shout outs if you guys want help on your youtube channels i'm willing to do that i'm willing to set up out the time and i'm already doing some certain reports for other youtubers on there who have asked me to help them out that's my plan that's my job and there are other things that i'll be on that patreon so do if you guys want to spare me some couple dollars or in general just skip that one cup of coffee for that day you guys can definitely help me out thank you guys again so much for watching this so thank you thank you Thank you, and of course, until next time, stay classy.